Good evening to our uh, to our Philippines and true parents. Good evening to our leaders, to our lecturers, to our brothers and sisters who are participating for tonight for our 10th day of 21 days DP series lecture that we have. And yes, before that, before we officially start, let us uh, sing together the Chinuguk anthem. everyone to join me in an opening prayer. Sarahashanin, Hanal Ponim, Champonim, Sarahamnida, Kamsahamnida, Heavenly Parents and True Parents of Heaven, Earth, and New Mankind, and our victorious True Parents. Thank you, Heavenly Parents, for tonight, for giving us a chance once again to really listen, Heavenly Parents, and learn about the Divine Principle, Heavenly Parents. This precious time together with our dear um, lecturers, our brothers and sisters, heavenly parents. We truly hope and pray, heavenly parents, that we could really learn more, heavenly parents, understand more the heart of our heavenly parents and true parents through this um, divine principle. Learning heavenly parents that we have, heavenly parents. And we also wanted to invite your divine presence to be with us, heavenly parents. And as we are praying that to our lecturers, heavenly parents, for tonight, we could be able also to really give heavenly parents give him uh, and uh, more knowledge, heavenly parents, so that we could share more deeply and we could learn 
to our to each and every one of us heavenly parents thank you once again heavenly parents for tonight and really wanted to offer this sincerely with the humble heart heavenly parents as really report this in your name Hoji and Jingyam sa kasa bless couple ah ju ah ju all right good evening once again my dear brothers and sisters and before we proceed yeah, I'm sorry for having until now. Yeah, I cannot open my camera for yeah having a technical problem. But yeah, for that I wanted to as Ate Menina, yes, for the guidelines that we have. Yes, our basic meeting guidelines for of course, we are every day. We wanted to remind all oh, my dear brothers and sisters, also to everyone, that we have our yeah. Um, supposed to be we every time we need to enter to the same link, yeah, Zoom link before seven thirty. Yeah, it was more advanced supposed to be. Yeah, like don't be late as always. And number two, yes, if uh while our lecturers are giving lecture, yeah. Please uh um refresh yourself. But if later on, if we have the reflection, then you can of course you can ask and then you can mute yourself. And number three, unmute yourself. And number three, turn on the video. Yes, yeah, sorry for now. I <laughs> yeah. If your camera is also good, if yeah, please turn on your camera so that we could see also our. Your beautiful and handsome faces, my dear brothers and sisters. <laughs> and number four, of course, for the attendance, so that we could see your real name, actually. Please rename yourself so that we know who you are. Yes. <laughs> and number, yeah, as you can see in the screen. And number five, our question and reflection later on, we have the oral. Of course, later on after the lecture, we have our self-reflection also. And after that, after the lecture, we have the written that you could send actually to Ate Monina later on for that. That every time she's reminding us, yes, to give the reflection. Yes, thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters, for that. And yes, welcome to our 10th day of the Divine Principle Lectures for tonight. For that, before we move on, let's do the I think you learned something in the past days that we are learning about the divine principle. So let's do the recap. And for that, of course, I think you still remember what we learned in the... Oh, for that, before that, of course, may I yeah, request everyone to, I think, take a photo po muna tayo to take a picture first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, your face is your priority, my dear brothers and sisters, even though you cannot see me, but <laughs> you have a good smile to show to the camera. Okay, I mean, okay, um, small heart, for dear brothers and sisters, small heart. And uh, do it. Okay, and what's next? Okay, hibaragi shinang. Okay, Hana, do set. And next one, the Vision 2027. Sung ni, sung ni, sung Okay. Okay, thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters. And for that, yes, we wanted to hear, I, I think maybe two, maybe, oh yeah. Kahit dalawa lang po. 
that we could hear about the recap that we learned in last day that we yeah may i is there anyone who wanted to volunteer for that <laughs> And I think, is there anyone, my dear brothers and sisters? I think kung wala po, then let me volunteer someone. <laughs> May I call on Ati Faye Balulot for the recap that we learned about last day. Let us welcome, my dear brothers and sisters, Ati Faye Balulot. Good evening, uh, to our heavenly parents and true parents. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, <laughs> the most I remember is of the topic was about predestination and and uh, if and the question is everything. Uh, in that is happening happening or has happened is under god's will or not of course no and also if sin is natural or not thank you Ati Faye, are you still there or? Tapos na po ba si Ate or technical problem? You know po. <laughs> you know po, you know po. Okay, thank you so much once again Ati Faye Balulut. And yes, one more. May I call on Ati... Jenna, yes, for the recap that we have. Let's welcome Ati Jenna. Okay, thank you so much. Good evening po sa lahat. Good evening po. Ati Jinky, Kaherwin, and Ati Redina, everyone. Okay, so last, our, our previous topic uh, was all about predestination. Um, yeah, predestination, so it talks about uh, the predestination of God's will and the predestination of human beings and also the elucidation, elucidation that supported the uh, predestination. So, uh, I think recap, yun lang, diba? <laughs> recap. So, yun, um, yeah, and, and, and also um, our predestination here so, um, as, as the one who is uh, Prepared. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Ate Jenna, for that yeah, recap that we have. Yes, for that, we formal mood on. Yes, to our topic for tonight. Yes, as we study last um time about the chapter six, about the predestination that God has a plan, of course. And how we could also took over the responsibilities that we have as of now. And for that, before we uh, move on to our lecture for tonight, may I uh, welcome our lecture uh, lecturer for tonight. Of course, he is also our uh, our um, UPTA uh, program director. Of course, none other than may I call on and let us all welcome with the warm of applause, Kuya Herwin Kalinawan. Welcome, Kuya Herwin. Good evening, uh, brothers and sisters. Okay na kayo? Okay. Um, okay na kayo? Hindi pa kahit saan niya rin. Yes, um, welcome to our 10th uh, day of this. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, 
Okay. Um, our uh, topic for the last lecture is technology. So, uh, this is one of the most controversial issues, especially in Christianity. So, Christianity is one for the ones who believe in Christ. And the definition of Christianity, uh, Christ, Christ is not yet, di pa talaga, parang, Marami pang contradiction nangyayari uh, na nagagana between the believers of Christianity and even other religions if they believe this Christ. So this is quite biblical and not only biblical for the beginning, uh, we can understand who is the value of so basically, um, this will be talking about obviously Christ and who is Christ, and we've already discussed about the purpose of his coming, right? The Messiah, and in chapter four, and we've already, yeah, the purpose of his coming. So now let us study more about this ancient Christology. Bakit manatim ka ilang pagkara? Uh, what do you think? Why do we need to study Christology? Number seven. Uh, I want to ask someone. Muna nakita ko. Si Kuya Anik. Si Kuya Anik. Kuya Anik yung nakita ko, ha? Huwag kami, Anik. What do you think, Kuya? Ba bakit natin kailangan pag-aralan yung Christology? Uh, in like, here, the divine principle. Bakit kailangan na malaman? Uh, about Christology. So, very important yung Christology na mapag-aralan kasi based nga sa Holy Bible, Christology is talk about the life of Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. At the same time, only the Messiah has a direct relationship to the God. So, in order to, to understand uh, the purpose of God, why created the universe or the creation, humans so, and uh, other things. So, through knowing the life of Jesus Christ and his coming, so for sending the purpose of sending Jesus Christ. So, doon na natin mano kung malaman yung yung pinaka-purpose ni God through connection na kay sa ni Jesus Christ sa Creator. So because Creator is the our heavenly parents so nakoconnected siya kay Jesus Christ. So all the things na mga direction ni ng Creator so directly sa Son niya so marireceive natin through connected to our Jesus Christ. So study the life of Jesus Christ means na uh, uh, study Christology means she's studying also the uh, creator, studying the creation. Uh, so very, ano siya, very important ang Christology sa buhay ng tao. So, uh, ganun sa kaimportante si Jesus Christ sa uh, nga. Kasi everything na uh, uh, God's plan is in the giving to the authority for the Messiah, to Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya napaka-importante na malaman natin ang pag-study sa, uh, sa Christology about Jesus Christ. So, thank you so much. Yun talaga, thank you so much, Kaya Nicholas. So, yun. Um, yeah. Pwede na mag-lecture si Kaya <laughs> So, basically, it talks about, yeah, yung sinasabi ni Kaya Nick na in main point then is like uh, you will know also the will of God. And yeah. So let's proceed now. Ano ba talagang anong mapapala natin sa pag-aaral ng Christology? Napag-aralan natin chapter 4 eh. Diba? About the purpose of the Messiah. But here, the nature of Christ. Kasi it is connected 
with every individual as a human being. Intindihin natin dito kung sino si Jesus Christ, if he is God or not. If and the meaning of Trinity na sinasabi ng ibang courses. The other one, what is the purpose of Christ why is coming again although it is it was explained already in chapter 4 but let us clarify more in this chapter. So those are the basic three basic um, points na, na malalaman natin dito. If Christ is God and the Trinity and Ayan, ma- ma- maalala ko niyo mamaya. Kutin na natin. So sabi dito, it just, it just, issues which fall within the scope of Christology include the Trinity, which deals with the relationship between God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, as well as rebirth and the relationship between Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and fallen people. So, um, maraming nagsasabi that Christ is, this Christ is God. Meron din nagsabi that Christ is not God. So, alam ba talaga ang totoo? Alam pinanin ba ang Christ? So, until today, the controversies surrounding these issues have never been clearly set up. Consequently, considerable confusions remain in Christian doctrine and ways of faith. So, marami pa rin um, hindi klaro sa paniniwala ng tao ano ba talaga ang nature ni okay, Jesus Christ? Okay, there are verses in the Bible that really contradicts kung si, God, uh, si Jesus Christ ba ay God or human beings 100%. So, bago natin uh, malalaman kung si Jesus Christ is God, pabalikan natin ang sinasabi sa principle of creation. If you still remember, as we will study here in the section one, the value of a person who has realized the purpose of creation. So, yun. The value of a person who has realized the purpose of creation. According to the principle of creation, so chapter one, Yeah, we've, we've studied already. Now, ano yung value ng isang tao if he, he was able to fulfill, especially the target blessing, perfecting individual, um, uh, building an ideal family, and dominion over creation. But here, the key to approaching these matters is to understand the original value of human beings. What is the value of human beings? This is just a recap about the principle of creation. So, so, a person who has realized the purpose of creation or a perfect person, one, assumes a divine value to power about God. According to the Bible, Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, you must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. This Christ said this disciple. You must be perfect as, as, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Ibig sabihin, kasi sinasabi ng ang word and must, it is possible that a person could achieve perfection. And then if this is a principle of creation, when, when we fulfill the purpose of creation, when we fulfill the purpose of God, when we are one in God, one, one in harmony with God, we can assume a divine value comparable to God. There's number one. The same lang yan sa sinabi dito, unity between mind and body. If your mind The mind is separate and the body is separate. But since if, if it's in harmony, centering upon God, you will become a perfect person. So if you reach perfection by fulfill, fulfilling the purpose of creation, your spirit, your spirit will become comparable to God. Parang sinasabing, um, parang, parang sinasabing, Parang God ka na rin. Lagi na lang parang. Kasi hindi, hindi ka na talaga exactly si God. But you have a, a, a value, a divine value of comparable to God. Number two, if that person fulfill the purpose of creation, he has a unique existence in the cosmos. 
So, according to Father, um, it's in the divine principle, the book of the divine principle, of ours, sinabi doon, lahat ng tao, uh, walang magkakapareho. All of us are unique. Kahit, kahit yung kambal, kahit magkamukha pa yan sila, may, may difference pa rin Like yung, ano niya, maybe yung ilong, matangos si isa yung dahite. Or, yung nunal, yon. So, all of us has a unique existence in the cosmos. We are all reaching individual perfection. But your perfection is unique. Why? Because, because you are created unique. So that is why, if God, if, if, if we are, if that person, pag minahal yan, pag parang minahal ni God yung taong yun, we shouldn't envy. Why? Because God loves that person uniquely. And at least it's different. Iba din yung pagmamahal sa'yo ni God. That is why the same as we are, how can we give joy to God is also unique. Kasi lahat ng tao sa paligid natin, wala talagang pareho. So lahat ng tao, we can give joy to God in a very unique way. Kaya hindi mo masabing kung paano ang pagbigay ko ng joy kay God, is ganun din ang pagbigay niyo ng joy kay God. It's different. Like for example, we have different talents and we have different skills. That skill is unique and that And your heart is unique. Your 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 um, nature is unique. So, in a different, we are um, iba iba tayong paraan kung paano makapagbigay ng saya kaya. So we shouldn't compare one another, but we should uh, like appreciate one another. And because yun we are a unique existence in the cosmos. Number three. If you, if that person has realized the purpose of creation has the value of the entire cosmos. So, um, if you reach perfection, you are, rich, you are uniting your mind and body. So if you are uniting your mind and body, you are uniting also the spirit and the physical world. According to Father, all the elements na nakikita natin Uh, paligid natin uh, physical, sa physical world natin makikita din natin yung elements na yun within our self and at the same time lahat ng spirit elements na nasa spirit world according to Father makikita din sa spirit body natin so which means the value of the entire cosmos is also the same with human beings kaya ang tawag sa atin microcosm And in addition with that, according to Father, that is why it is very important when we do good things kasi it, it will attract sa lahat ng tao. Uh, it will attract sa, in our environment. We are all connected according to Father. This microcosm, all of us connected. So, hindi nyo ba napapansin that um, when something bad happens, parang nararamdaman mo. You could feel that negative sense within your body. That is one of the examples that all of us are connected. So this, this value of entire cosmos, if that person, ang taong yan, has, has the value of entire cosmos if and only if he's able to unite his mind and body. So this, this, I know, this, um, This characteristics of that person, if you reach, if you fulfill the purpose of creation, meron kang divine value, meron kang unique existence in the cosmos, and the value of the entire cosmos. Now, let us study kung meron bang ganito si Jesus Christ. Kasi when we compare Jesus Christ and the fallen people and the person here, In section 2, so alam na natin, ganun ang magiging value ng isang tao if we're going to reach perfection. If we're going to realize the purpose of creation. We can assume divine value. So, uh, parang ang value natin katulad kay God. 
Number two, we have unique existence in the cosmos and the value of the entire cosmos. The question is, ganito ba ang value ni Jesus Christ? So let's study. Section two, Jesus and the person who has realized the purpose of creation. So, dito natin manalaman if Jesus Christ is really God. So, a person who has the same divine nature as God he is unique in all cosmos. Furthermore, he possesses the value of the cosmos. So there is a divine nature comparable to God. There is no greater value than person, the value of a person who has realized the purpose of the elaboration. This is the value of Jesus, who surely attained the highest imaginable value. Thus, Jesus, the being, was realized the ideal of creation in the individual level. Bakit maraming Maraming nagsasabi that Jesus Christ is God because Jesus Christ is the only person who reached um, that perfection, who has realized the purpose of creation, individual level. Kaya, Jesus Christ at saka si God kasi, they are in one. They are, they, are, they, are, they are one. One in heart. So lahat ng, lahat ng nararamdaman ni God, nararamdaman ni Jesus Christ. Lahat ng nararamdaman ni Jesus Christ na feel din ni God. So, napaka-unique in Jesus Christ at that time because he's preaching at the age of 14 years old. Nakapagsalita siya ng mga ganung bagay. And nakakagulat yun sa mga parents sa mga priests na, na napaka-bata niya para makapagsalita siya ng ganun. So, maraming nagsasabi and now in Christianity, that Jesus Christ is God, but let us study. It is in, a, in the divine principle since Jesus Christ is the one who fulfilled the purpose of creation, Jesus Christ also has a divine value. He is also unique in the, in the, in the cosmos and he has the value of the entire cosmos. So the question is, kung merong ganong characteristics Jesus Christ, the question is, is Jesus God himself? So, in the book of John, uh, chapter 14, verse 9 to 10, based on such, uh, when Philip asked Jesus to show him God, Jesus said, He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, how, how can you say, uh, how can you say, show me the Father? Based on such biblical verses, this, many Christians have believed that Jesus is God the creator. So, yun, yung sinabi, yung, yung verse na sinabi ni, God, ni Jesus Christ that he who has seen me has seen the Father. Yun ang, the interpretation of Christianity in this verse is that Jesus Christ is God himself. But the meaning in the principle, in the unification part, Jesus Christ said this one that he who has seen me has seen the Father because Jesus Christ is one with God. The characteristics of Jesus Christ is the same with God. Parang, let's, let's take an analogy. Um, pag Maka-mute po. Okay, let's take an analogy. So, um, let's, uh, like for example, may, may anak akong lalaki and then um, pumunta kayo sa bahay ko pero wala, wala ako doon. Ang naiwan lang doon is yung anak ko. Nung nakita mo yung anak ko, you said, uy, para kang, para kang si, para kang yung tatay mo. Kasi the way ka mag-act, ganun din si Herwin. Yung mukha mo, ganun din si, ganun din si Herwin. So, lahat ng nakita mo sa anak ko, parang that is my second self. Parang sabihin mo, ikaw si Herwin. Si Herwin talaga, si Herwin talaga to. Herwin talaga to si Herwin. 
Anak siya ni Heroin. The same with God. The same with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not God himself, but he is like God. It is because of his character. Very different character. And at that time, Jesus Christ ang lang ang naka-achieve ng ganong level of divinity, characteristics of divinity in spirit. So see, yung sinabi, yung sinabi ng kung sinabi lang ng anak ko, sabihin niya, nung nakita mo ako, para na rin nakita yung anak, uh, para mo na rin nakita yung ama, yung ama ko na wala dito. Ganun din yung sinabi ni, ni Jesus Christ. He who has seen me has seen the Father. That is the analogy. Ang pinaka-point dito is yung character ni Jesus Christ. If you follow God, if you are connected with God, If you understand God, maraming magsasabi na ikaw ang misaya. Maraming magsasabi na kakaiba ka. Maraming magsasabi na ikaw si God. But hindi ka talaga si God. Kasi you are the, you are the son of God. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Isa sa mga controversies na sinabi ni Jesus Christ when He was crucified is that Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Yung sinabi niya sa Pata- ang mga patawar, Ang mga sasalangin, patawarin mo sila kasi hindi nila alam ang kanilang ginagawa. Yun ang isa sa mga, verse, sa mga verses na sinabi ni Jesus Christ na hindi, hindi pa rin na-explain hanggang ngayon. May-explain man nila but Like, it's not, it's, it doesn't make any sense. And to make it sense, ito yung sinabi niyo at this point. You are one with your Father if you achieve and realize the purpose of creation. Maging kawangis ka ni God kung ma-fulfill mo yung purpose of creation. Kawangis ka ba ni God kung uminom ka ng alam? Hindi <laughs> That's common sense. Kawangis ka ba ni God? Kung puro ka, punta ka ng ano, um, kung if you are killing other people, kawangis ka ba ni God kung uh, hindi ka naghundok eh? Hindi ba naghundok eh? I mean, hindi, hindi yung mukha official face, face talaga. The, the, the point is the characteristic. That is the characteristic of Jesus Christ. So Jesus may be sabi dito, Jesus may well be called God because as a man who has realized the purpose of creation and who lives in oneness with God, he has a divine nature. Nevertheless, he is not God himself. Pwede ko kayong tawagin, um, like for example, pag may karakteristik kayong the same as God, lahat ng tao, kung sino man sa atin ang maunang makarealize ng purpose of creation. Ang kara ang diba uh, magkakaroon din siya ng divine nature na katulad ng Jesus Christ. Hindi lang si Jesus ang maka-achieve ng ganun. Also, lahat ng tao. Wag ba kaya pa bakit pa kayo magwo-worry? Hindi lang naman si Jesus Christ ang magkaganon. Lahat tayo. We could have this divine nature same with Jesus Christ. And goal ni God, we should become the children of God. We have to become the children of God. Sons and daughters of God. If you are the son of God, you are the son of God. Basic, basic analogy. If you are the son and daughter of God, ano yung characteristics mo? Anong nanalatay na go? The same with your parents, right? Magtaka ka kung anak mo, kamukha ng kapitbahay. Yun ang hindi talaga mapamuka. Hindi ba yun? So, pero itinan natin yung karakter natin. Bakit hindi ko natin yan? Because our father is Satan when the fall happened. But then, our goal right now is to become the children of God. So if we fulfill and realize the purpose of creation, kahit sino ka man, kahit, kahit presidente ka man, kahit beggar ka man, 
fulfill the purpose of creation, you have a divine value, the same with Jesus Christ and the same with God. But you are not God. You are the Son and the Holy Ito yung hindi na iintindihan ng mga kapatid natin. The body may be understood to be the mind's second self, but it is not the mind itself. By analogy, Jesus may be understood to be God's second self, but he is not God. Ayun. Mind can, the body may be understood to be the, the mind's second self. It's because whatever, whatever the mind thinks, the body will follow. But the same way, um, Jesus Christ is God's second self. Kasi kung ano yung sasabihin ni God, kung ano yung nararamdaman ni God, nararamdaman ni Jesus Christ. Kung ano yung gusto ni God, gagawin ni Jesus Christ. So God and Jesus Christ is one. Kaya maraming nagsasabing si God, si Jesus Christ is God, but He is not really God. He is the Son of God. Hindi mo maganda? It is written that since His resurrection, Jesus has been interceding for us before God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 34, as He did when He was on earth, while He was on earth. This tells us that Jesus Christ was not God Himself. Now, let's proceed to comparison between Jesus Christ and fallen people. Pagaya sa atin. We are the fallen people. Kung ikumpara natin yung characteristics ng Jesus Christ ang sa atin, and natin, the fallen people, fallen person, is nothing of the value of the true person who has completed the purpose of creation. If we, are not, if we are not fulfilling the purpose of creation, the purpose of God, the will of God, di talaga tayo baluabon. Ang value natin, hindi magiging katulad. When we compare ourselves to Jesus Christ, Jesus came with the full value of a true person who has completed the purpose of creation. Yan ang pinagkaiba sa atin. Kaya, during sa time ni Jesus Christ, marami talagang nagtataka kung sino ba talaga siya. Is he the Messiah? But, kaya lang, we are looking it physically. Kaya, ang ending is that they denied Jesus Christ. But they were really amazed the characteristics of Jesus Christ. Kaya lang, hindi lang nila ma-accept ma- ma- talaga na karpentero tapos ganito, paano maging misaya? So number two, fallen people, fallen person has fallen uh, fallen people to such a low, has fallen to such a lowly status that he looks up to the angels. So ang bali, ang, um, tayo kasi, after the fall, the dominion between the angels and human beings was was being reversed. Imbis tayo yung uh, we're gonna rule over the angels but the angels rule over us. Ang, kaya lahat ng ano natin parang we are um, depending on angels. Di ba? Yun yung characteristic natin. Even the teachings of Catholics we are depending on angels. But it dapat uh, yung nakadepende uh, actually, actually dapat yung angels yung nagdidepende sa atin. But in Jesus Christ, characteristics, angels and all things are put in His dominion. Ito yung, uh, ito yung dapat na mangyari. Even, even us, the dominion should be reversed. Number three, is with uh, fallen people is with original sin and stained with the vision through which Satan can attack him. While Jesus Christ had no original sin and no condition in himself for Satan to invade him. So Jesus Christ has no original sin. Number four, he cannot fa- uh, fallen person cannot fathom the will and heart of God. At most, he can catch only a glimpse of them. While well, Jesus Christ experienced God's heart as his own reality in his daily life. You know, uh, the same with father, with, the same with true father and uh, true mother. They are the ones who understood God's heart. Now, if, if true parents have that kind of 
characteristics within them. For sure, we have the divine body out of all the out of all the human beings. Samantalang tayo, we the fallen people, we're not able to understand God's heart. And in the end, 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 before we knew the we know the principle, we were not able to understand the end, Ang nasa isip na natin, uh, P, uh, kung nasa church ako, Catholic Church, ang nasa isip ko is God is a God of, like sitting on a throne and then tinitignan niya yung mga anak niya. Ngayon, pag hindi ka gumagawa ng kasalanan, oh, pero na ka. Pag, 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 pag gumagawa ka ng kabutihan, o oh, nakas sa heaven. So, Ganun lang si God. Parang, parang boss, parang boss, gano'n. Not actually a parent, parent na sinasabi ng unification talk, unification principle. Nakaiba talaga. So this kind of characteristics I have learned only when I knew the principle. So we can therefore say that a person has virtually none of his original value as long as he remains in the fallen state. If, however, if, however, he were to, to be reborn through Jesus, the true parent, and become his good child, lens of the original scene, he would be restored as a true person who has perfected the purpose of creation like Jesus Christ. So, if we will remain in our, in our fallen state, we cannot become like Jesus Christ. And our goal in our lifetime here is to become a person the same as Jesus Christ. So we have to go back to our original state before the fall happened. Which means we have to be reborn. Isisilang tayong muli. Paano ba may isisilang muli? That is the only way that we could be able to remove our original seed. We have to be re reborn. So it means we need parents. And then we, we will be cleansed of the original sin and we will be restored as a, as a true person. The same value na kung anong meron si Jesus Christ. The question is, paano magkakaroon ng rebirth? Ito din yung, this is, this is more like Christianity. Something like this. But rebirth, uh, we have to understand what is the meaning of rebirth if it is necessarily requires both parents. We learned this already in the chapter one about the need of a parent in order for us to receive salvation. In chapter three, uh, the, la uh, the last days, yeah, in past, past uh, chapters, in this uh, chapter one, as uh, part one of the divine principle. So let us proceed now. Uh, the understanding of Paano magkakaroon ng rebirth? Kasi, uh, Christian, kasi, sabi, di ba? You have to believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and then you will achieve, uh, you will be reborn. Sabi ko, sana ganun lang kadali. Hindi sana masaya sa Sana ganun lang kadali. That that's what that's the time when I met the leader. That na uh, masabi kung saan ganon lang kadalek. Kasi we all knew that it is very hard. It is difficult for us to go back to our original and fallen state. So, in the unification principle, this is the meaning, the real meaning of rebirth and Trinity. Kasi marami nang sabi, Jesus Christ is God, and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and God is one. Ano sila sabi sa cross at sa ano, diba sign of the cross? Hindi the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Apat naman. Apat at ano yun. Hindi the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So marami, yan. There are some belief in Christianity that Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and God is one. Isa lang yan sila. Isa lang yan sila. Ganon. 
Pero ano ba talaga yung sabihin nito? So, Jesus told Nicodemus, Nicodemus one of the, like, ito sa pinakamatinilin ni Seth ng Jesus Christ. Unless one is born anew, the book of John, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Why must fallen people be born anew? So Adam and Eve fell and became evil parents, multiplying evil children. Hence, fallen people must be born anew as children without original sin. So, ito yung nangyari. We are the children of Satan. Uh, Adam and Eve became the evil father and the evil mother. And since we are the, the uh, children of Adam and Eve, we became evil children. Kung hindi, ta, kung hindi nagpaw si Adam and Eve, we don't need a verb. But since we are now, our lineage, now with Satan, ang gagawin natin is kailangan nating mag-isilang muli. Pero yun ba yung sinasabing pabalik kasi sila sa sinapupunan ng mam- magulang mo, ng mama mo? No, that's impossible. Laki-laki mo ng tao, mabalik ka. Hindi ka magkaisya. So, this rebirth, what does it mean? The rebirth of a fallen person in order for us to become the good, become the children of God. Children without original sin. So, this has came as the true father in order to give rebirth to fallen people, transforming them into good children, thoroughly cleansed of original sin, the Holy Spirit came as the true mother. For this reason, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, of him as the everlasting father. So we 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 knew already the purpose of coming coming of Jesus Christ is to become a parent. It's he Jesus Christ has to has to get married and through them he could be able to bear the good children under the dominion of God. Now since Jesus Christ was being crucified nangyayari, ito yung, in order for us to be, re, to be reborn, we have, we should have to have a mother and a father. That is basic, uh, parang, even in scientific, we need both the male and the female. So, here, in transformation, in, in transforming ourselves from evil children to good children, we need Jesus Christ as our true father, as our father, true father, and Holy Spirit as our true mother. And if we believe Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, through them, we can be reborn and we can become a good children. That is rebirth. We need both parents. Hindi lang pwedeng isa. Kasi yun ang purpose ni Jesus Christ. Pabalikan natin yung chapter 4. It's quite long, so tinakailangan yung ulit. Eh. But that is the purpose of Jesus Christ while he's in the ways to come. He has to save humanity, but both uh, as, as a parent of humanity. So both father and mother. So the true Holy Spirit is the true mother and Jesus Christ is the true father. And through them, we can become good children. Now, since Jesus Christ was being crucified, ang nangyayari is spiritual rebirth. Jesus said that no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born anew through the Holy Spirit. That is in the book of John chapter 3, verse 5. Being feminine, the Holy Spirit consoles and moves the heart of people. So we cannot be able to enter the kingdom of heaven without the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, without parent. We cannot be reborn, we cannot uh, remove our original sin without a parent. So, kinakailangan both a mother and a father for us to be reborn. But the problem is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the results of spiritual rebirth. So, when we believe in Jesus as the Savior through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, so, yung sinabi, uh, 
Diba? According to other Christians, they said we will be reborn. That is true. We cannot say that you're, they're wrong. That is true, but there's a limit. Only spiritual rebirth. It is not enough. Hindi natin mga sabing mali sila. Kulang lang talaga. Kaya nga babalik, kailangang bumalik si Jesus Christ. Kasi He needs to fulfill the complete salvation, the complete rebirth of humanity. So, we receive the love of the spiritual true parents, regenerate the truth, and give and take between Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Through this love, new life is infused into us, and our spirit are reborn as new selves. This is spiritual rebirth. We have the spiritual rebirth, but the Messiah will come not only spiritual rebirth, but the completion of spiritual and physical rebirth. Kaya kung intindihin natin ano ibig sabihin ng Trinity sa pamamagitan ng both father and mother, ito yon. This is the Trinity. To fulfill the purpose of creation, Jesus and the Holy Spirit stand before God as object partners who separately manifest the dual characteristics of God. They unite through give and take with each other with God as the center and for, form the four position foundation. Jesus And the Holy Spirit thus become one centering on God and this one is constituted in the Trinity. Diba, according to what I said earlier, um, there are some belief in Christianity as well. Trinity is uh, specifically Catholic. Because I, I am a Catholic belief. <laughs> and our belief is that God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit are one. We cannot say also that they are wrong, but we should say it's correct. But it is limited. Kailangan ng kulang pa rin. Kasi the Trinity, the Trinity happens not only in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, it also happens within ourselves. Like for example, the perfection of individual, when we unite our mind and body centering on God, that is Trinity. The, uni- the unity between mind and body centering on God, the mind and the body of God, already for a trinity. And that is the result of becoming an individual pers- uh, perfected person. So not only happens there within Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and God, but also within ourselves, we have this trinity by fulfilling the purpose of creation of uniting our mind and body. And the same with the husband and the wife. When the husband and the wife Uh, like the second blessing, when the husband and the wife have this harmonious relationship towards one another, centering on God, they will form a trinity. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng trinity? Ng isa, they're one. Kasi if, kung babalik tayo sa, sa perfection of individual, if you are united with your mind and body centering on God, so tayo, yung sinabi ko na nakaraan, if you have harmony with your mind and body, Entering on God, you are absolutely one with God. That is Trinity. The same this sinasabi nilang Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and God, they are one. But hindi sila sa isang isang ano? Like ang ang hindi ka ang hindi kasi is um para isang isang ano lang sila ba isang isang being lang sila ba? Yan ang, sina- yan ang intindi ng yan intindi ng ibang Christianity. Isang being. But it is not actually they are not um, in one being. They are just one in heart. One in mind and one in heart. Ibig sabihin, they understood one another. They have this harmonious relationship towards husband and wife centering on God. That is, that is the Trinity. We have the Trinity if you have are united with your husband, your husband or with your wife, or your mind and your body. Okay. Tama yung sinabi ni um, uh, ibang, anong, na ibang Christians, but the limit there is, if they are not actually in one uh, one being, but they are in a separate being, it's just that they are one in harmony. They are one in heart and in mind. So that is, does not constitute the Trinity. So, when we go back to the 
spirit uh, the rebirth na sinasabi when Jesus Christ died it was not complete salvation the rebirth of humanity is only, is only spiritual salvation so the purpose of the coming of Christ is to have a perfect trinity and a complete salvation of humanity so Jesus and Holy Spirit in oneness with God could form only a spiritual trinity yun ang nangyari spiritual trinity lang they could fulfill only the mission of spiritual forbearance. There's no question about that. But then again, the, the, the fulfillment of the will of God in the principle of creation, the fulfillment of the will of God, the establishment of the kingdom of heaven is not only spiritual, but substantially we have to establish the kingdom of heaven. So which means if we are going to establish the kingdom of heaven substantially, we need a parent substantially. Kaya, kailangan umalik ni Jesus Christ. Substantialize the kingdom of heaven. Not only spiritually. Substantialize. So it means, it should become apparent substantially and spiritually. Kaya, ang purpose ng second coming, when we study about Christology, Christ must return in the flesh and find his right. They will form an earth perfect trinity with God and become two parents, both spiritually and physically. They will give fallen people both spiritual and physical rebirth, removing their original sin and enabling them to build trinities on earth with God as the center. Then we will finally be able to build the kingdom of heaven where God's triggered blessings are fulfilled. So ito dapat yung bagawin ng second coming. The returning Christ will under the returning the bride. The returning Christ will find his bride on earth, and they were going to save humanity, to give rebirth humanity, remove their original sin by becoming a spiritual and physical parent. Where the returning Christ is the true father, and the spirit the bride is the spiritual and physical true mother. So the coming of the Messiah. The coming of true parents here on earth is not is not only spiritual. Yun ang uh, physical ang tina ang uh, naging kulang ng Christianity. So we are we are fortunate right now because we have this report na sinasabi. Hindi lang kedya na sinasabi the kingdom of heaven will come. Um, parang masyadong big. Pero sa atin we are substantializing the kingdom of heaven. We're starting here in the individual, in the family, right? And we are we want it to be global. We want to to substantialize the kingdom of heaven here on earth. But we have to pass through the parents in order for us to be to be reborn. And we have to, and then if we will be if our children will be our original sin will be removed, we will become a good children. And become true parents, spiritually, physically build the kingdom of heaven on earth. So not only the true, the returning Christ and the bride will become the true parent, also the children, their children will become the true parent of their children and build the kingdom of heaven on earth. All of us will become true parents, not only the returning Christ and the bride. They are just the one who started how to become a true parents. We can also give rebirth if and only if kailangan muna natin dadaan parents. So, dun na magkakaroon ng completion, complete salvation, complete restoration, and complete rebirth sa fallen human being. So, in conclusion, so, um, Number one, we all know in the section one that lahat tayo pwedeng maging katulad ni Jesus Christ. Lahat tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng divine nature katulad ni Jesus Christ. Not hindi lang yung responsibility ni Jesus Christ. Ayo din as fallen human beings. Kasi ang goal ni God, you have to become the children 
the children of God become the sons and daughters of God. Pangalawa, Jesus Christ is not God himself. At nasasabi natin, Christ is God dahil sa kakaibang karakteristik niya. Masasabi din natin, if we human beings tayo, if we fulfill the purpose of creation, para din tayong sigad. Pero hindi tayo sigad. Pangatlo, rebirth needs parents. The salvation needs both father and the mother. It started with true parents and also so we, 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 we can be saved through true parents. And also, we can become a true parents to our children by following what our true parents have done. And that way, we can also give birth. So I hope this understood the, the real meaning of Christology. So those conventional beliefs that we have, hindi natin sasabihin na mali. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin sa ibang Christians that they are wrong. It's actually right, but it is limited. Okay, if you meet Christians, huwag niyang sabihin mali kayo. Kami lang yung tama. No. You have to tell them that that's right, but that is limited. May kulang. So that, that is what the divine principle says here, the real meaning of Christology on how we can become children of God to build the kingdom of heaven further. I hope it clears for you. Thank you very much and good evening, Mother. Yes, thank you so much to our uh, lecture. Let's give a virtual applause. To our power powerful lecture for tonight thank you so much once again to our upta program director kuya herwin kalinawan and for that can you hear me okay for that po and yeah i think we are moving on to our reflection time and for that may i once again welcome our Kuya Herwin Kalinawan to take over the reflection time. Let's welcome once again, Kuya Herwin. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, <clears throat> okay, so may mga realization ba kayong natanggap? Well, you've been hearing this kind of lecture. It's quite boring. Um, let's take it, uh, let's, uh, ano, um, gawin natin siyang in a different way. So, dati kasi nakinig lang kayo ng lecture. So, as always, we need, uh, we need, ano, reflection for me. <laughs> Doon ko kayo intindihan, kung naintindihan nyo ba yung sinasabi ko. Hindi, ulitin ko talaga. So, sabihin nyo na lang, naintindihan ha. Okay? Ayaw ko na mag-ulit. Yung... <laughs> okay. um, Sinong mag-ano? Volunteer? Nararamdaman ko yung gusto nyo kayo mag-volunteer eh. Pigilan yung sarili mo. Pigilan, pigilan. <laughs> okay. Uh, ito mo na, gawa ko nga lang, ano? Ayun. We love names. Ito mo na, yes. Ano gawa ka? Uh, mag ano ka muna ko yun ang isang participant mag-reflect para gawa ko ng anong gugol siya. Okay. Um, I will ask for seven. I will count to seven. 
Oh, let's welcome Kuya Nick. <laughs> Give reflection, Pak So. Uh, yes, uh, good evening, leaders, brothers and sisters. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hi. So, yung topic natin is so very important in the human history. Especially sa talaga sa part na talaga ni God. Uh, how God uh, really invest na mabalik sa kanya yung creation niya through the Jesus Christ. So, so we are so very uh, lucky that we are studying about the life of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is really ano, uh, Messiah. Siya nga yung nagbabago ng destiny nitong mundo na ito na nandoon sa dominion ni Satan. So because of Jesus, uh, everything was been returned to God. So sa kanyang sa effort niya na uh, talagang ano, uh, kinilala siya actually as the savior. So mm-hmm. Jesus Christ was been uh, called as a, a son of God. Uh, because of sa kanyang effort din siya na mm-hmm. naging successful siya sa resurrection kaya tinawag siya mm-hmm. son of God. Supposed to be if Jesus Christ uh, naging successful siya sa sa physical body niya rin na uh, supposed to be walang connection sa kay Satan. So yung body niya kasi na merong party doon si Satan eh. Kaya yung story ni Jesus Christ saka yung pinag-aralan ng tao sa dito sa earth even sa spirit world na what is the yung na-accomplish ni Jesus Christ. Kaya most of the time na kung pag-aralan natin yung mga ano yung mga yung yung sineting ng mga mga religious leaders kung ano yung inilagay nila sa Holy Bible so na doon about pinagdebatihan talaga nila yon noong unang panahon pa na about kung ano talaga yung position ni Jesus Christ na campus niya. So Jesus Christ was being called the son of God. So hindi naabot ni Jesus Christ yung ano yung creatorship na ano pero actually is Jesus Christ na uh, na talagang na, may naabot din siya sa ano creatorship pero nagkaroon nga ng miss na miss niya talaga ano but pero but because of na accomplishment ni True Parents so naging ano pa rin uh, Jesus Christ was being discovered yung teaching na uh, dito sa movement na Jesus Christ has been nag-elevate yung yung ano niya yung uh, as a son of God na elevate yun as a creatorship na as a co-creator yung tao dahil din yun sa kay sa kay True Parents na accomplish niya so kung ano sana nga sila talaga sa sana noon pa yon uh, supposed to be sana noon pa na ano uh, Jesus Christ uh, hindi lang sana siya matawag as son of God mas kung accomplish niya talaga na walang connection yung naging misaya siya noon uh, dapat noon sa year 2000 years ago so Jesus Christ was called in the higher position more than the son of God so but True parents was been ano na na siya yung nakakampis kaya we are so very thankful about that time. So Jesus Christ was establishing yung ano niya, yung Jesus in the Holy Spirit kaya nagkaroon ng Holy Trinity. So sa based doon sa accomplishment ni Jesus Christ 2000 years ago. Actually if Jesus Christ kung nagawa niya sana no na maging Messiah siya ang mystery ng Christianity, hindi siya maging ano, uh, wala sa, sana supposed to be history yung Christianity, naging greed sila. Kaya kung study yan, minsan ibin sa ano ni True Mother, sa isang lugar doon sa, ano, sa isang Africa, yung na isang sa black people na yung sa, sa nagay sa ano, di ba, ni True Mother, speech niya na yung mga Christian, yung mga gin slaves nila yung black if Jesus Christ was been not crucified ang history ng black Christ supposed to be hindi yun siya maging ano uh, maging worse yung standard ng Christianity kasi dahil yun sa ano sa crucifixion nga 
na nangyari. Kung na-complete na sana yun na hindi talaga na-invade yung katawan ni Jesus Christ, there's no history of Christianity na mangyari yun na naging ano, na naging sakim at saka naging masama yung mga Christian. So, even to the point na yung mga Christianity, hindi sila nananalo sa time ng crusade nun sa wars, natatalo din sila. Because of na-taking nga yung mayroong connection doon si Satan sa katawan ni Jesus Christ. So, we are thankful but because we are our two parents na complex na bindisyonan siya ni Jesus Christ na na bindisyonan siya na receive niya yung ano, yung second coming. So, we are lucky now kasi uh, successful na si ang ano yung God's will na nakakamplish sa Nitro Parents. Nay, thank you so much, leaders, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much, Pianik. Very you know, uh, informative. Yeah. Pwedeng tanungin siya, no? Nastan ka ngayon, Nicolas? Uh, ah, nandito ko po sa Kabiti po. Ah, sa saan? Trisi Martires. Kina Sir ano, jo uh, Joshua Hosol, Filomeno Hosol. Ah, kay Kuya Joshua. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Next day. Welcome. If you have any questions, uh, long video reflect. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> good evening, brothers and sisters. Um, thank you so much for so wonderful lecture, like, Kaherwin. And um, and so, pagka ano ko lang pusa ano, chapter seven is mostly parang ano pusa parang extension ng nakarang mga <clears throat> chapters considering yung ano yung yung pagmansion ng Trinity which is only a ano representation ng ano ng spiritual salvation which is yung si God Jesus and the Holy Spirit tapos yung oneness nun or yung faith ng tao sa ano na yun, sa Trinity na yun, is na ano, spiritual salvation tapos yung ano rin yung um connection nung ano nung sa pag uh, ano yun? sa pag clear ng misunderstanding or misconception na Jesus Christ is God based on ano yung sa passage ng John chapter 14 verses 9 to 10 which is ano kasi yun nga di ba na Jesus Christ had reached individual perfection so in a way he has ano he has reached the level of standard ng ano human beings uh, i mean level of standard na human beings are supposed to achieve which is to ano inherit God's nature so yun masasabi na he is one with God or he is, he resembles God because ano yun, yun nga rin kasi di ba in ano yun nga rin yung intention ni God when he created us is to ano reflect his image and ano his nature um so ayun aside ha, aside doon um <clears throat> ayun nga uh, hmm 
I guess, ano, yun nga, it's an interesting topic. I mean, I'm sure there's deeper, ano, there's deeper things to be looked at. Pero as of, uh, I, ano kasi, even though I've had, ano, I've listened to multiple lectures already um, and read the DP multiple times, I, of course, there's still, ano, there's still things lacking that uh, there's still ano um uh nato there's still views or angles that i still haven't seen or there <clears throat> there's still points which i may have ano overlooked pero ayun nga, same with ano same with every topic of the divine principle and every ano Every writing that True Father has, ano, has made, I'm always looking forward to learn more. And ayun nga, although, I'm, <laughs> although I'm quite, ano, medyo ano pa rin, I didn't, I didn't learn as much as I have, ano, relearned in this chapter, which is why I'm hoping to listen more to, ano, to other brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> reflections and so I and that is all for Anna then I thank you thank you so much Amikael. I think uh, I will have the same reflection <laughs> uh, let me ask a question the basis for your reflection Energy. Okay, my question is, and this is for everybody. So, uh, hearing the lecture of the of technology, how can you apply in your head, especially in strengthening your life of faith? and connected with the blessing. Oh, hearing the Christology. So, through this uh, lecture, how can you strengthen how, how did it strengthen your faith? In, was it applicable in the blessing? Kaya mo yan. Kasama ako na lang sa mga. Kasama ka, Mati Nerji! Okay. Ilang perfect ka na. Kahit... No. Pag-oral, perfect na yan. Amen. Sorry, sorry. Um, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ang hirap naman ang tanong. Ay, joke lang. Hindi ko naman siya mahirap. Pero, yun nga. Wala lang po yung isagot. Wala lang po yung isagot. Um, how can I apply? Uh, device of faith. Ah, uh, yun nga. Kasi, di ba, meron tayong uh, sinasabi na, ah, uh, sinasabi niya. So, divine principle, like, we, re, uh, we need to reach the perfection po. Like, um, yeah, with, uh, the unity of with our mind and body. So, yeah, maybe uh, yun yung kailangan natin i-apply sa sarili natin para ma-attend natin yung blessing. And, yeah. Yan lang po. Gaya, hindi po po talaga. <laughs> How about um, receiving the blessing? Uh, paano mo siya ma- ano mo siya may apply sa blessing? Hindi ko tinatawanan. Totoo na tinawag eh. 
At i-marry din naman tayo. Sige na. Next. Pangalan na nga nung we'll build up names. Yeah. Tapos ibabalik natin kay Kuya, ano? Kay Kuya, ah, Kuya Michael. Oh, po, pwede, pwede ba natin yeah. ibalik na lang? Para wala naman kasi ako maisa ba, to be honest po. Hi. Kuya, ibalik kasi babalik din sa'yo. Teka din mo na. Oh, magsagutan lang tayo. Balik ko muna kay Kuya Michael. Baka naman. <laughs> Ako wala kayo siya. Joke lang. Ano sagot daw? Hindi, mamaya mo na. Sige, sige. Pagkatapos ko, sige. Ah, sige. Later na lang ba? Ah, sige. Babalikan. Babalikan kita. Okay. Kaya um, no, okay. daw niya yung sagot ni Michael. Ay, grabe. Debi mo na. Ang gulo ko. Oh, hey. Same question. I hope you have different answer. Walang <laughs> kopyahan na. Kaya hindi yun different Susuportahan ka daw ni, ano, sino bang mas elder, si Pei o si Miss Mike, eh, si Mr. Michael? Kasi, Mikaela. Ah, Mikaela, si Mikaela, buti Pei. Ah, uh, hello pa. Sorry po, um, what was the question? <laughs> um, what is your favorite color? Okay, ano, um, yan yung question na Uh, how can you, knowing the lecture about the Christology, uh, does it strengthen your life? How can you, how can you strengthen your life of faith and your understanding towards the uh, Um, Although this is difficult, uh, kan ko pa eh, eh reach out ko rin po sa sa lecture kanina although confusing po yung kan yung 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 lecture na to for newcomers it really makes sense for people who who have read and understood the the bible si mga testament testament ganun kasi they can understand that the, kan yung mga words doon na it's not exactly direct ibig sabihin noon just because we can see something like for example physical ganon doesn't mean that that is the only thing that's important so in this lecture that says that our we we have a a four position relationship with with our heavenly parent in in and we can become one with him in a spiritual term it means that people people or rather everyone must take care of their spiritual body and mind rather rather uh, more than their physical body and mind of course can <laughs> kumain and magbis but but still It also proves to those who are like successful in life, but like the rich, um, they their life is good and something and such and such. But that even if the their life is like that, they can feel that something is missing, and that something that is missing is is their relationship with their heavenly parent. <laughs> um, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you did not answer about the blessing. Wala akong pinapalas. Uh, blessing? Ano po sa blessing? Uh, what do you think? Uh, does it apply to your blessing? Uh, hindi pa po ako naka-match. So. Yeah, so, uh, uh, while preparing for matching or while preparing. Yes, so important. Um, in crystal. <laughs> uh, um, question, nag-prepare ka ba? 
I try. <laughs> okay, yun ang yan. Yung, um, yung preparation ko po, uh, kasi usually po, nagbabasa ako ng mga novel ganun. So, I try to accept the relationship of of a male and female in the viewpoint of a female by reading love novels. But I really... <laughs> Isang saglit lang talaga yung youth. Yung childhood. Anyway, the most, I think the most effective uh, preparation for me was when we had uh, events where where uh, the seminar or the lecture was about uh, the matching or the blessing. Yeah, thank you. Much. Sana dun sa preparation mo is your your heart and willingness ba? Question mo na willingness ba? Attending this twenty one days or no push? <laughs> But thank you for coming and attending this twenty one days. I I hope it might help you. Baka hindi na naman siya pumunta sa atin. Hindi na naman siya mag zoom. <laughs> yeah, ako yung alte. <laughs> Okay, so next. Hindi ko pa lang isasagot. <laughs> Sinergy, babalikan ko pa yun. Pag di ba, hindi na lang kami sa kanya yung first question. Ang kanya sa ito. Ano? Ano? Siguro po, sa first question. Ano yung question? For me, yung about sa Christology, same po yung ano po, ipag-unite po ng mind and body po reach the perfection po, start po sa sarili po natin. And then sa ano yun? Sa blessing, how how to yun, sa blessing po siguro ano uh, yun, sa uh, nabanggit nyo po sa kanina na sabi nyo, pwede tayo lahat maging parang si Jesus. Ganun. So, which is si Jesus hindi yan na fulfill yun na magkaroon siya ng bride pa, di ba? Kasawa, ganun. Which is, is dapat ma-fulfill niya po yun. Meron siyang, ano, parang yung sa, magkaroon sila ng children na, ano, uh, I'm, yeah, na cleanse na sa, ano, sa original sin, ganun. So, maybe dun po yung reflect ko dun, if ever, yung, ma-fulfill ko po yung, ano, yung blessing, uh, yun po yung, ano ko na, If ever we have na children, ganon, ano, cleanse na rin po siya. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, RJ, can you give this one practical example? Yung, ano, yung mind and body? Kasi that's actually, ano na yan, gas-gas na yan na reflection. Mind and body unity. But I want to, we want to hear One experience about unity between mind and body. Pag mo na sabihin sa akin yung hold ako yung sarap. Another, another. <laughs> nakamute, nakamute. Um, wala pa ako niya. <laughs> Wait lang. Uh, unity with Kasi mind and body. Sigur. Hindi pa man natin natin. Hindi. Hindi ka. <laughs> basic mga basic ano lang basic example basic example ah yun zero lang pa daw ano yung um, wag natin sundin ko ano yung desire natin parang dapat isipin natin nga na kung may gagawin man natin yun yung right thing po na with ano sa god sa uh, Let, let me let me answer first. Uh, 
example, example sa akin is, pag may makita akong plume, uh, sinasabi ng mind ko, higit ko siya. Sinasabi ng body ko, akong pera. <laughs> Pero, pinasunod ko pare yung mind ko, kailangan ko susunod yung mind ko. And then, kahit wala sa heart ko, kasi ang, ang, uh, ang naisa sa isip ko, kahit ang meal man lang, kapagbigay ako sa next month, kapagbigay ng sa'yo, kahit isang meal sa isang araw, gano'n. Gano'n nakikita ko. So, yun yung isa sa example ko na uh, actual. How about you? Actual example about mind and body. Uh, yun. <laughs> Wait lang, pwede po mag-alip muna <laughs> Okay uh, Okay, so next muna balikan Dalawa na mabalikan ko sa Derby Saka si Mary Jane Yung isa, second question Yung isa, first question Agang hinati yun Let's welcome Ati Catherine Hello? Hello po, naririnig? Yes, welcome. Naririnig po ba? Yes po. Okay. Good evening po. Good, de- good evening everyone, brothers, sisters, elders, lecturers. Hi, Kuya Erwin. Thank you for the wonderful lecture. Ano po yung tanong? <laughs> A lect- ano mo na? Reflection? Yes, yeah. You can start with reflection and then question. Okay. Uh, sa reflection, <clears throat> excuse me, Christology, Uh, bilang katoliko, uh, uh, shocking sa akin na malaman na marami palang Christian na naniniwala na God and Jesus Christ is one. Kasi, although ako, ano talaga akong katoliko, I do attend masses. Uh, eh, ano, except nga lang ngayon kasi pandemic. Uh, tapos, bilang ano din, bagong member ng movement na ito, kasi nga, nag, nag-lockdown last year. So, hindi ko na tuloy-tuloy yung seminar ko with Sir Andy. Uh, pero, I can proud to say na kahit katoliko ko, na ano, matagal ko na talagang na-realize na God and Jesus Christ is, ay hindi iisa. Kasi, dun pa lang sa moment na, although, yun nga, ba diba, maraming verse na nagpapatunay na na hindi talaga sila iisa. Saka isa na din yung, yun nga yung na-crucified siya, na tinawag niya si God, yung sabi niya, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? So, doon palang malalaman muna na hindi talaga sila iisa. So, yun lang po. Thank you. And, uh, your question, Dek? Do you have a question? May tanong po kayo? Uh, ako po. Wala po. Oh, As in, may tanong kayo po lang tanong. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, based on that belief, mga, sino mga katolik mo? Kasi ako nasa kumbento ako eh. Pare, tapos every time na sinasabi ng pare na about Trinity, I always ask like, paano kayo maging isa yung tatlong giing? And hindi siya clear up ulit. Yung ibang ano, the other religion doesn't believe it. Trinity. Only, actually only, I think Catholic only. Some other Christians doesn't believe it. So, the point here is that you can, we cannot be able to understand Christology actually sa principle of faith, as a, sa divine principle kung hindi natin maintindihan yung principle of faith. Yan ang pinaka-basis kung paano natin maintindihan yung Christ. Paano natin maintindihan yung Christ. Kaya nga sinabi ni God, Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. Only begotten Son of God. Kasi bakit? At that time, 
Siya lang yung nakaantindi kay God. Siya lang yung nakaperfect in purpose of creation. Understand Jesus Christ. It is not, kahit sasabihin ko to sa mga Catholic, derecho, yung Christology na chapter. Kahit sasabihin ko to sa mga Christian, hinding-hindi nila may tindihan, derecho. Kailangang makarinig muna sila ng lecture tungkol sa principle of creation. Ang principle of creation, napakahapa, section 1 hanggang 6, kailangang intindihin yun. Doon natin may intindihan ang value ng lahat ng tao. Doon natin may tindihan kung sino si Jesus Christ. Kaya, yung sinabi ni Ati Faye kanina na sa mga beginners, mahirap talaga yung tindihan sa kanila. May intindihan nila yun with many, a lot of lectures, a lot of lectures. One time, I don't think so. Even me, when I received the principle, in IPLC 21 days. Hindi ko siya na hindi ko siya maintindihan talaga ang hirap ng bit kasi hirap ako maintindihan ano pala ang principle of creation. Ang ano lang sa akin naniwala ako kay Father it is because of the parallelism na may medyo trigger rin sa akin at medyo na relate na parallelism ako. But anyway, uh, yun ang yun ang pinakaimportante. So when when you, when you want like if you want to share the Christology with other people Napaka-importante yung intindihin mo lang nila yung principle of creation, chapter 1. Yung talaga pinaka-basic talaga yung paano ka mag-connect kay God, paano mo intindihan si God, paano ka maging one with God, yung spirituality mo, paano mag-higher level, salvation. And then susunod na yung chapter 2, chapter 3. Anyway, tayo, um, um, I... I Buti nga, naintindihan mo na na they are not one kasi yung sinabi mo sa cross pa lang. I think they, you are really prepared to receive the divine principle. It's clear from now on. The Trinity is possible. Lang. Like, one in heart lang. One in heart spirituality. Naintindihan kayo ni God, yung asawa mo, the Trinity. You are one in heart, but not exactly like one. Yeah. And so, any, sino pang mag, ano? May tatlo pa. Yes. Ay, dalaw na lang pala. Yes, tatarili na. Okay, before before we proceed to ano before we proceed to the reflection um, last time the may nagsabing ano how how can we introduce one of the participants na room here batch batch third batch yeah ano kung sino ah sabi, how can you introduce Christology in Does it believe? I, they believe Jesus Christ after. But not that. Uh, and how about those Buddhists na hindi nakakaalam ng Trinity? Hindi ba? Hindi alam si Jesus Christ. So that that's a question na uh, encounter namin sa third batch ng uh, ng 21 days. So what do you think? They are the one who doesn't know the the, the who is Christ, who is Jesus Christ, and how can we explain to them based on Christology? And so yeah, any anybody um, also the lecturers. Uh, yes, Good evening. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Are you Yes, yes. 
<laughs> Super lakas. Tayo na lang po. Okay. How can we introduce um, Christology to Buddhists and... and Buddhist confusion is now museum. But we're religion. Uh -huh. See, our goal is to unite all the religions. And how can we explain to them Christology? Teachings of Christology. It is it is based on divine principle. Diba napakalaking tanong yun? <laughs> Believe in Christ. Okay, yeah. let's welcome... Just like you said, Christology is not very easy to understand to those people, even among Christians. Remember, so it is but basic to. Gusto ko ibalik sa yon. Yung tanong mo. Ako na sa kita. Ah, gusto ko ibalik. Pero ganito yon. Di ba para for the benefit of discussion? Um, kailangan natin maintindihan. Gusto ko ibalik yung sagot mo kanina. At the same like manner na. Hindi yon basta dahil without the basic understanding or not the full understanding just even the basic understanding of the the principle of creation we couldn't have had much understanding we couldn't get the full grasp of what about what is the value of christology at all especially in relation to the divine to the new truth ano bang meron ano ba, bakit kailangan natin pag-usapan si jesus christ when we are already introducing the new truth Ano bang meron ang Christology that has something to do with the new truth? Anyway, di ba? Pwede bang skip na lang to? Kasi may new truth naman tayo, di ba? But uh, ang to me, what is uh, striking, striking on Christology is Trinity aside is more on the value of a person who had reached the the who had realized the purpose of creation of which that was jesus christ himself in the very first place prior to coming of to the coming of the lord of the second advent and which is also the basis of the coming of the lord of the second advent so ano yung value ba ni jesus christ na napag-uusapan dito i think that is one thing that we have to look into yung paano ba ang isang tao originally Uh, na nagkakaroon ng true value yung nagkakaroon ng naka nakaka-inherit i should say or becoming one with the will the heart and the the intellect of god it is only by forming the four position foundation di po ba in which yung trinity na later on nagfa-follow na yung dual characteristic lang yun originally di po ba from God who is the creator and then has reflected him reflected himself in all created entities from the smallest to the most com to the biggest or to the, the simplest to the most complex yung dual characteristics niya na ipina ini uh, ano niya ini ini hahayag niya yung sarili niya in the, in all those entities Actually, yun yung ano, yun yung original Trinity na din. From God Himself, who is the being, the origin, and the division of, the reflection of its, of, of its dual characteristics. Ito yung original Trinity po eh, na kailangan-kailangan ma-achieve ng tao without any other religion na para makaisa natin yung Creator. Kasi we, uh, ma, uh, we, where man is the center of all creation, siya yung uh, inheritor or siya yung makaka binigyan ng, ng authority ni loving heavenly parents or ni God or ni Allah na magiging kaisa na sa kanya. Na substantially, na hindi lang yung konsepto lang na God, good God, ganon. Kailangan kasi makita yung goodness in substance of which doon sa tao, doon nakikita po yun. So, hindi na, kahit hindi na natin, uh, kaya lang kasi nakapag-usapan ang Christology when, uh, when we introduce the new truth. It is because it was Jesus Christ who was the first person who had realized the three, the, first, the, the individual Uh, for position foundation na siyang first blessing di po gano ganon so in relation to the new truth yun din kasi yung model na na ginawa or nagawa nag 
gusto ni Father ipagawa sa atin para magiging hindi lang tayo kaisa with God but I should say we should become the true object partner of God the substantial object partner of God para yung konsepto ng love which cannot be realized by oneself talagang makikita po natin hindi na lang po siya idea lang hindi na lang po siya bastang parang drawing lang kundi yung totoo na experience po natin bawat isa sa atin na kaya nga in different religions for example yung Buddhism yung uh, how do they call it yung magkaroon ka ng ng control of your body through your mind yung I, I don't I am not very religious I do not really study a lot of religion yeah but that is uh, a, a way during the time that is God's way of expressing or teaching those people on that particular time na achievable tong ganitong bagay na mangyayari hindi lang yun na remember ko tuloy yung answer ay yung yung question na nabasa ko na yung mga tao bang twisted na or ya yeah, yung yung lifestyle mai-straighten pa ba yes very 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 big chance na mama-straighten pa yung bah- ng buhay o yung yung lifestyle basta maintindihan natin yung value ng tao na nakaka-realize ng four position ng three ng ng four position foundation on the individual level parang ganun po siya so yeah i without siguro i don't exactly know how kasi kung hindi naniniwala kay kay Jesus Christ hindi naman natin pwedeng i-insist yun pero yung more on the value of the person who have achieved the four position foundation i think it's very striking already na at saka hin, you cannot get deny it we cannot we can all not deny it actually now once we really have achieved that four position foundation be kaya nga sinabi mo kanina kuya Heron na nabutan ko na we can be like Jesus Christ Oh, I didn't take it literally like we have to be crucified, no? But I rather want to take it like, yeah, we can have formed the four position foundation on the individual level. Parang ganun siya. Na yung sinabi ni Kuya na yung paano mo ba susundin yung mind mo over the desires of your body. Halimbawa, ganito, gusto ko matulog, pero alam kong may lecture. What should I do? Parang ganun. So, ano bang sinasabi ng mind ko? Makikinig ako or mag-participate ako. However, my body really wants to sleep because I was I came from a long travel and uh, you know, I could have make excuses, you know. However, I rather wanted to to fulfill what uh, my mind says. Na, yeah, it's a, it's very important and I wanted to grab more things. I wanted to grasp, I mean, hold on to something na take away for this time, for this moment, parang ganun. So, yung mga simpleng bagay na ganun. Eh, hindi pa naman I'm not saying na I am already fully <laughs> na na perfect ko na yung for position foundation on the individual level but at least we are all trying hard because we have that understanding po of the basic principle of sa 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 creation. Di balikan natin. Dito sa Christology ini-emphasize lang tiniting lang lang siya ay bakit kailangan siyang ulitin dahil ito yung preparation natin on how are we going to receive the blessing as fallen people na kayang-kaya po natin tong gawin uh, if we will resolve, if we will determine. Kasi alam naman natin na we are all product of the fall. We are broken people. So, yan, for the first generation. We are owed to um, hindi naman to, kasi hindi naman kailangang obligatory, di po ba? Kailangan naman it should happen in our own volition. Kasi kaya nga binigyan tayo ni God ng free will. However, ibibigay tayo ng responsibility. However, um upon knowing the truth kasi mar- alam natin lahat ang truth eh. Uh, kahit ayawan pa natin ito ngayon, for example, but time will come that it, it, in a certain period of our life time, we will be able to think it again and and especially pag mag, gusto mo nang mag-settle down. Darating na kayo sa punto na katulad namin na tumatanda. Yung parang Wow. Uh, yung parang you don't want to have regrets anymore. So sa mga young people, I should say it's a very very great challenge. Maybe but just like I have gone through but it is a great opportunity na hanggang maaga we will learn 
it now and we will try to practice it now and I really believe it's very doable. Wherein, kung in relation to the blessing, actually, pag, uh, habang hindi ka pa nakareceive ng blessing and you do try your best to to re realize the four position foundation uh, on the indi individual level, kasi pag ka nagkaroon ka na ng, makareceive ka na ng blessing, mag-level up na yung restoration natin, it would be a lot easier. So you will be, it would be easier for us to become victorious. Uh, kaya kailangan nating matuto doon sa life ni Jesus Christ. Kailangan nating maintindihan yung value ng existence niya. Kailangan nating maintindihan yung yung how is it go, how is it substantially, experientially or personally. Uh, how is it how does it feel like when you are like inheriting the heart of God? When you have the same feeling God feels. When you have the same know-how God what God knows, and we have the same will, uh, what you can easily understand what God wills us to do, parang ganon. So, I think yun yung, ba, uh, yun yung, ano, yun yung va value of Christology. And then, in down sa pag sinabi mo, yung tanong mo, again, uulitin ko, hindi na kailangan na Christ himself, but more on how can we be able to substantiate it? At saka yung value ng tao na nakaka-inherit or nakaka naging kaisa sa heart, sa will, at saka sa mind ni God. Yun yun siguro yung how are we going to let them understand. Kumbaga, substantial manifestation of God's goodness in us. Yun yun. Paano natin siguro introduce sa kanila po. Thank you po. Thank you very much, Ito Sylvia. So yeah, uh, about the principle of grace. So, yeah, those, the, that question really triggers us also. How can we do this? Um, if we look at the divine principle, it's actually a biblical Hindu scripture, walang other scriptures than the theology. Uh, no. So, when you use this lecture, you cannot actually encourage those non-believers. All you have to do is to... You can explain Christology, but not... You can use the title of Christology. And believers do. And the most basic understanding is Trinity. One in heart. Yeah, one is you. It's a lot of people. Yeah, in chapter, you have to become a real person. And lahat ng tao, we are, we are achieving the idea to become a real person, right? At anong religion pa. We are uh, trying to dominate, we are trying to dominate our body. Yeah. And lahat ng tao, karon ng trinity, like for example, individual, oh, that's uh, man and body and towards the, the creator. Ano bang tawag sa kanila, Buddha or Yahweh or whatever. But not only that, you can also explain Christology based on Trinity. So the family, pwede ka magkaroon ng um, Trinity, whether your husband and wife centering on God. You don't need to mention about Christ to those who do not believe in Christ. You can mention, for example, Picture ka sa Buddha, Buddhism. Example mo si Buddha. Paano hindi unite? Unit, hindi unite. Unite. Unite ni Buddha yung may nagbali. It's looking for the enlightenment. And, and also other religions. So basically, ay BP kasi more on ano siya, Bible verse. So, di ba may mga lecture na iba't ibang scriptures or different religions? For you to explain Christology. So, you don't, we don't need to mention, sinasabi lang natin sa divine principle kasi we're, we're studying here the um, the path of restoration and nakasenter kasi siya sa Christianity. Kaya ginamit lang yung uh, ano dito, understanding explain the language to understanding who is Christ. But you can, it's hard for you to explain Christology mismo sa mga ibang tao hindi niwala sa Christology. So you have to explain the basic principle 
chapter 1, nandun nila mas may ito. Okay, so let's proceed to the next thing. Next. Sino, sino yun? Eh, DJ na sino pa masa? Ate Roche. Okay, kanina pa nag-enter si Ate Sorry for, you know, Okay, good evening elders, leaders, brothers and sisters. Ayan. So, wala na akong masabi kasi ang hirap pala pag nakuha sa reflection. Lalo na lang sabi ni Kuya Herbin na bawal nagayahin yung sagot ng iba. But bawal <laughs> ng <laughs> Bawal tas ano pa bawal lang isagot yung unity of mind and body and then yung hundok eh yes, so nagisip tuloy ko ng isasagot ko kasi na hindi magaya sa iba <laughs> yung but yeah ang mahalaga is ano eh kung ano yung nasa heart mo right and kung ano yung understand mo sa ano sa lecture So, my reflection muna is, ayun, thankful lang ako kasi, ano, maaga akong na-receive yung divine principle. So, I did, wala akong much knowledge about Jesus Christ the time. So, kaya, hindi pagdating sa lecture na ganito na, yun, si Jesus Christ, hindi si God, ganun. Parang hindi ako na, Confused, so hindi ako nagulat kasi ano pa for example as an ano bata pa kasi ako noon eh grade 4 so parang yan yeah, nagsisimba ako sa Catholic pero hindi ko bakit yung parang ganun bakit ako nagsisimba so yung parang ano basta ang alam ko may God so naririnig ko ang Jesus Christ so ayun and then since na-receive ko yung divine principle na bat pa lang So, ayun na si Jesus Christ, hindi siya si God. So, yun lang yung pinaka-ano sa akin. Parang advantage. Right? Then, ano, as a reflection din. Ayan. So, kumbaga, ang hirap talaga siyang i-share kung lalong-lalo na pag sa, ano, yung strong, yung faith kay Jesus na pinaniniwalaan nilang si God kasi I have this ano classmate yeah strong strong yung faith nila kay Jesus and then one time yun in approach niya ako then sabi niya na maniniwala ka lang kay Jesus save ka na yung parang ganun so pinagdasal niya ako ganun and then sabi niya okay ano pikit ka magpray ka tas pagmulat ko, sabi niya, naniniwala ka ba kay Jesus? Sabi ko, oo oh, naman, ganun. And then, sabi niya, okay, save ka na. Yung parang ganun, sabi ko, oh, ganun lang kadali? Yung parang, ano ba? But, <laughs> yun, hindi ko ma-explain sa kanya na hindi si Jesus, ano, si God. But then, oh, yun, so, as Kuya Herwin said, na magiging katulad naman tayo kay, ano, kay Jesus, if we become perfect. So, yeah, as we born, ano, fallen, so parang ang hirap i-achieve yung perfection. So, um, siguro, ano, yung sa tanong na how can you apply in your life to strengthen your life of faith? So, ayun, since, ano, tanggal na daw yung hondo ko, ayun, wag nang i-reflect. So, masasabi ko, ano, to strengthen my life of faith, siguro, ano, reading God's word. And, yeah, pray sincerely to God so that I can, ano, connect to God. So, yeah, mag-pray ng, ano, sincere. And then, ano, as an individual o sa sarili ko, dapat mayroon akong desire na paano ba magiging ano yung type of faith ko kasi mahirap ano kahit sabihin mo na i really believe god but wala ka namang ginagawa na ano paano maging mapatunayan mo kay god na naniniwala ka so ayun 
in a simple ano yung reading God's word God's word and practice and then ano ayan attending seminars yeah so to guide my life of faith yeah and then yun nga since pinag-uusapan naman natin yung trinity so as an individual yung, yung mind and body nga it's on hindi na pwede yun so maybe <laughs> ano yung as i follow the ano na lang direction of my leaders or my elders spiritual father so yun it is one way to ano to connect to god through them okay and then i am very grateful and thankful naman na yeah we have our true parents na and this divine principle na makatulong sa atin na magiging ano strong yung life of faith and we have this kind na parang magkakaroon tayo ng goal na paano ko ano na ma-achieve yung perfection right so hindi katulad sa iba na ano na parang okay yun sa kanila is simba-simba ay yung simba lang hindi na hindi ko naman minamaliit yung pag ano since yun nga kumbaga sa atin ano as an individual pa lang mayroon na tayong ina-achieve na goal so me as an individual ginugol ko to receive the blessing So ayan. So since bago ka nga pumunta sa blessing, kailangan ang sarili mo is ano na, unite. No, kasi how can you embrace receiving the blessing na ikaw mismo is still struggle. So ayun. So uh, siguro ano ano ba sasabihin ko. So yun lang I in my everyday ano living so i only ano put god first so na paano ko maano yung sarili ko ma ma connect kay god na parang oh and then this time okay oh, <laughs> nalimbawa ni kuya ano ni ati selvia ba yan <laughs> yung sabi eh, ano pag kunwari you have the desire na mag-attend ng seminar and then yung body mo is gustong matulog. So, if you follow the, ano, the, your mind, so, mag attend ka ng seminar kasi kailangan mo to. So, ganun din yun sa akin. Lagi, pag every time na nag attend ako ng seminar, honestly, kasi every day, whole day ako sa school, then, I have this, ano, then kinabukasan may klase. Parang, ano, but yeah, depende sa determination mo yun or sa desire mo to achieve that, ano, to achieve that, ano, desire. So, this time also yung, ano, paggawa ng, yung national condition. So, yeah, dapat mas, ano, yung, ano natin. Yung, may natin na ano in this simple way na doing this condition or attending the seminar is ano to show how your life of faith to ano to God to show your ano faith to God so maybe that's all lang brothers and sisters thank you so much po thank you very much Terce point natin. Maraming points. So, anyway, mahirap talaga. Mahirap din kasi invite sa mga devoted Christians. Ano lang, unti-unti lang. Christians. Yan lang yun ang Simon na. Invite mo lang din. Next, let's welcome Jenna. Good evening po, uh, Harwin. Good evening po, Tito Selvia, and our elders, Ate Rinina and Kuya Bey, to our brothers and sisters. Good evening po. Narinig po, klaro. Yes, yes. Thank you. So, yeah, um, reflection on the topic. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, looking back then, just like our brothers and sisters have shared, na, uh, if we're going to see na this time, parang, uh, if we're going to witness mga devoted Christians, uh, people, nahihirap. Uh, somehow, it is very challenging. Um, yeah, pero, based on my experience then, how I was being, ano, yeah, uh, convinced to, ano, uh, uh, in the divine principle. So, maybe, uh, naging mahirap yung mga devoted Christians kasi parang, ano, already parang ano, injection ano ba parang andun na talaga sa kanila close na puno na yung container mahirap ano lagyan pa ano. so um before kasi for me uh, when i learn about jesus christ ala lang like there nothing in my mind very empty so then i received the one principal lecture and at first wala lang din ano. and then when i started to become a full time dun ko na intindihan Doon ko talaga, like, for me, uh, we cannot really, hindi talaga maintindihan yung divine principle without undergoing the formula course. And, kaya kapag, ano lang, uh, you just learn mga seminars. <coughs> Sorry. May mga, I uh, just learn seminars. Uh, ganun. So, it's really hard to really understand the principle. And sayo, so, um, based on the, ano, so, studying Christology, which is the life of Jesus Christ, is really important kasi that's the foundation, that's our foundation to understand the principle. The life of Jesus Christ is, becomes the model. Yung ginawa ni the Father, what Jesus Christ did, ni reverse niya, ganito. And, Jesus Christ is, uh, yeah, He is the model na kailangan natin sundin. Kaya pinag-aralan natin yung buhay niya kasi siya yung maging standard natin without, yeah, understanding na wala pa sila through parents. So, and also Jesus Christ is, uh, He is the perfect uh, embodiment of God. God, we cannot see God. Nobody, nobody yet see God like in person. Pumunta sa stage ng lecture, wala pang pang. Kaya, through Jesus Christ, uh, ngayon tindihan natin, ang ganito pala si God. Ganyan pala si God, kasi siya yung perfect embodiment. No? For, it's simply si individual level lang, kasi Jesus Christ never... Um, build the family. So, ayun na, ganun na, I uh, just, ano, um, to be one with, to be one with, uh, God, so, we have to be one with, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, kaya, I, upon, uh, reading the divine principle, ganun na, how Jesus Christ, how important, the life of Jesus Christ is. Kasi, doon natin tinitingnan kung okay ba yung life of, doon natin tinitingnan how our life, our way of life ngayon, kasi because of their standards. And we see Jesus Christ as God. And we see God as Jesus Christ. But, syempre, hindi sila isa. And their father and son relationship. And parent and child relationship. So, ayun. No, and, ah, ano pa ba yung mga questions ko yan? <laughs> Blessing, blessing. Blessing, regarding on the blessing. Yeah, actually, since mga brothers and sisters dito, you're still um, really preparing for the blessing, matching, ganyan. So, uh, really, ano, first, ano talaga, for me, ah, I mean, yeah, based on my experience, we have to really first undergo talaga the formula course. Like, fundraising, witnessing, kasi yun yung, Ano eh, yun yung application ng divine principle. Kaya, without, ano, syempre, the divine principle is, syempre, andun talaga yun, no? But then, um, the formula course is, ano ba, para gintong left yung, ano, pag study ng divine principle, the right also. So, very important, kasi doon na ma-apply. And, uh, for me, uh, hindi ko naintindihan yung divine principle, nung hindi ako nag-HDM. Like, I was first, uh, uh, my first mission, when I went, pumun- when, ano, nag-start ako mag-full-time last 2018, uh, daming doubts, daming mga, ano pa, daming mga hesitations, and, ganun, like, my foundation and divine principle din ganun kalalim pa so far, nung time na yun, and, and, ano talaga, like, wala masyado eh, like, I first went to the front line, na walang dala. Like, kung taka sa battle, na walang dalang baril, walang, da- wala talaga, like, 
pupunta lang din yan. So mahirap. Kaya uh, when I first uh, do my mission here in Manila, I was assigned in ano in BPLC Barangay Distribution Conference. Ang hirap, sobrang nahihirapan talaga ko like tinatanong ko na na bakit na ako nandito and so for to be nag-teach na ako ng nahihirapan talaga ko din. And I cannot speak Tagalog fluently. Struggle talaga ako sa mga barangay chairman. Ganyan. So, I realized na through those struggles, mas naintindihan ko yung value ng pinag-aralan ko. And I came to Ria, and when I go to the sa HQ kami noon, and tinitingnan ko kung ako sa prayer hall, tapos palagi kong tinitingnan sila to parents, sino kaya sila. Kasi I do, I'm not, I don't grow up in a religious family ba na I understand the Old Testament, New Testament, Jesus Christ. Walang masyadong ganun. Kaya tinitingnan ko talaga sila na Sino, sino ba sila true parents? I mean, tama ba yung pinuntahan ko? Mga ganun questions. And I, when I say Sir Julius, kasi mo hindi ba ganun yung situation. And then, I received this, um, parang revelation, something like that, that I have to study the Bible. Tapos yun, simula na ako mong basa-basa ng Bible. Kasi nga, yun yun. Tapos, and syempre, because of mission, sumprang pago, hindi ko na na ano. And then, I started to read a lot of books about true parents. And then, yeah, it, Then I was transfer transferred ano in Commonwealth for HDM. Kaya doon ko mas naintindihan ang through ano through witnessing mas naintindihan ko at mas yung mga tinuturo ng mga leaders, mga guidance na binabasa natin, mas naano ko sila, mas na feel at naintindihan ko when I really experience it. Kaya regarding to the blessing, um I really prepared for it like you know, you know uh I really offer so much, like, you know, the book, what's up, kami, Pita Dose, and I really offer Jong Song for it. Kasi, ayoko na, everything will be in vain, and ayoko na, um, I'm just parang, ano ba, sa lahat naman nung pinaghirapan, ganun din naman sa ano, pero, um, you know, when you understand Heavenly Parent, tapos, you know, uh, hindi man lang ma-fulfill yung, the end point of, Everything here is blessing and family and lahat ba ganun ka, you know, and lots of temptations and ano. Pero always ano lang talaga, kaya this, ano, this principle, this workshop actually, parang naisip ko no na when Ate Jenna informed me na this is for matching, parang sabi ko, uh, okay, parang, ay, ano ba, sabi ni Paz na for matching, preparation, pero I'm match already, pero nag-attend talaga ako kasi, kasi ano um uh, I made a condition before I join uh, sabi ko na before I have I receive my match I need to read the divine principle 100 times because that's the tadolsi he said and then, so sabi ko sa 100 times and then I read it 100 times and then sabi ko before I will receive the blessing I will read 100 times the 3 hour divine principle and then di ko siya nagawa and siguro malayo pa talaga yung 100 times kaya I, I I said to myself na I need to really attend ano um the principal lecture kasi it, it will become my condition na lang kasi hindi ko naman magawa yun so that's why I really I I decided to join this ano na this will be my uh ano symbolic 100 times <laughs> pero hindi naman doon basta I re, I made conditions sa sarili ko ng mga bagay-bagay in my life of faith hindi lang sa ano yung mission and ano yung sasabihin ng leader kundi I made also motivation sa sarili ko na I have to do something and I will not just rely on my leaders pa my guide in life of faith kundi I have to really seek more parang ganun yung nasa isip ko kaya regarding for the blessing I'm preparing like for externally like when I receive my allowance in HTM sabi ko, itong pera na to, dito sa akin. Para sa blessing to. Kaya, I keep all the money. <laughs> I keep all the money. And now, uh, we will be receiving, hopefully, like, you know, make a lot of prayers. So, we'll be receiving the blessing this April. And, and I'm so happy kasi, kasi, um, you know, siguro, ano lang talaga, I need, need sa lot of jong song talaga din na, na, na prepare and internally, externally blessing. Hindi talaga siya ganun kadali and especially pa pag hindi ganun ka broad yung heart. Especially pa pag by standard. Alam mo yun, the standard really breaks the ano ba, 
the matching ganun. Kasi minsan, pass yung standard ng sister, brother, hindi nila pass yung match. Kaya, uh, ayun na, uh, oh, we, and, doon talaga maintindihan yung soft denial, ganyan. Kaya, blessing is really challenging and it's really big responsibility. Kaya, ganun din na, uh, hindi siya, since hindi siya, mad, hindi, hindi, since hindi siya madali, kaya mga ba din ang preparation. Ayan, kaya, I'm grateful for everyone, all my leaders din. Kasi, the blessing, ano ba, especially my leader, Pastor Ernie, kasi, grabe talaga yung guidance niya about sa blessing. I've shared a lot to him, ganito, ganyan. And when I received my match, ah, uh, yun, okay lang. And okay naman siya, ganyan. So, Ayun, everything is okay naman. So, yun na lang, vertical talaga. And then, kasi mahirap pa ito. Vertical alignment and uh, need more. And mission talaga. Mission, very important sa front line. Kaya, um, yeah, so, yun lang. Yun lang naman yung ano, preparation, blessing. Ano talaga eh. I'm, I'm really looking forward talaga na to build family talaga na align talaga. I mean, I mean, to parents and doon talaga. Kasi, I've, 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 ano ba, parang iniwan ko lahat when I joined the movement and one year, ganun, iniwan ko talaga lahat na parang kendrans, ganyan. And, kaya, I will move forward talaga no matter what. Ganun. So, yun lang po. Thank you so much. Pahaba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you artistic powerful reflection I'm so proud here <laughs> I'm so proud thank you Jen thank you so much for okay thank you very much brothers and sisters so yeah um this one I share with you napakahirap napakahirap talaga yung trinity kasi basic lang um ang understanding kasi is like Uh, the situation kasi uh, in, in my part, I, I will be blessed. Kaya ano, dapat uh, complete trinity yan. Yung maninahag talaga my spouse and gender in God. Ang, 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 ang ano dun, ang, ang ironic dun is I'm united centering on God and she is united centering on God. But we cannot unite one another. <laughs> one another. So, the, ang pangatlong trinity dun is paano ka mag-unite? You, already, you are already centering on God. Ang pag-connect na lang sa tatlo is between me and my wife. And my, my, my wife, yeah, my spouse. So, it's one of the hardest thing when you are building a trinity with your with your husband and wife. And your partner? Yeah, with my partner. So, Um, napaka-importante talaga yung you know, you've been through so many uh, so many like, ano din, mga trainings and mission. It uh, helps you to develop your heart. Of course, if you learn from that, pa pa rin yung level pag you are together with your husband. Uh, uh, thanks to your parents and then meron tayong ganitong formula how we can be able to establish perfect trinity centering on God. Yan ang pinakaunang gagawin para makapagbuka ko ng core position of God. Or in another form. Form wonderful children. Uh, that, yan ang pinaka, ang pinaka bottom line sa Christology is not to become perfect. It's the name of Jesus Christ. Pangalawa is to form a trinity, second blessing. Yan ang pinaka main point and pangatlo is to, pa, to follow the our model, our two parents, because they are the one who are going to keep the complete uh, salvation, the three birth. So, even though you achieve this trinity together with your husband, but if you are not aligned with your parents, for you to receive spiritual and physical labor, it doesn't hindi pa rin siya acceptable. So all you have to do is to connect, build a trinity, family trinity, centering in true parents. That is why uh, the bottom line is we always have to follow 
how would you parents as our mother? Sila lang yung uh, kapag, uh, kapagbigay ng direction sa buhay natin. Real goal in our life, how to become and establish a real family. And yeah, and fortunately, we are, yeah, we are, thank you for, it's it's our uh, privilege na you are here and you are studying the principle and we are trying to align again ourselves and bring the best. Kasi yun yung pinaka-importante. So, of course, after nito, kailangan yung i-apply sa buhay mo. Kasi, well, not really, doesn't make any sense if you're not really substantialized in everything you have learned. Yeah. I hope you have wonderful night. Any additional from our lectures? Good evening once again, brothers and sisters, elders. Isa din siguro sa personally that I have learned and I hope that we can learn together dito sa Christology na ito is yung how are we going to kasi it has something to do with the blessing ano po um, how are we going to diba, we as Christians, me as a Catholic believes in Jesus Christ and how great Jesus Christ has done to humankind by granting to us the spiritual salvation through his substantial uh, his substantial uh, his going through the cross and through the cooperation of the holy spirit di po ba kaya nga we look at up jesus christ as god unfortunately prior to knowing the principle but now that we know the principle one thing that we should i think we should put into a uh, one point that I want us to understand further na during the time of the new truth hindi lang kasi ang, ang mission ng new truth kasi is to grant upon us salvation, total salvation so it's not lang only spiritual but also physical therefore we also need physical parents di po ba? paano ba tayo maging ma 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 born anew? And it is through our true parents talaga. That's how important our true parents in our life. Especially to the first generation. This is something na uh, kailangan, kailangan nating maintindihan so that we cannot just be like uh, parang medyo care lang yung ano natin pag take ng blessing. We cannot take the blessing so lightly. That is how important it is. That is how important true parents role here in our physical life. And in this, ano, in our life of faith, and on the second generation, naman, uh, it's not because uh, it is because of the blessing that you were born, di po ba? So I can remember when Father said, and in the time to come, when I believe I wanted to believe that it should be, he is referring to the time when everyone already knew the principle and have accepted the principle, has been trying to practice the principle in our daily life of faith like the principle become our way of life uh, the only thing that would remain is not actually the unificant church it's not the ffwpu it's not the upf but it is the tradition and the education that this is something that we need to keep in our hearts and in our minds really uh hindi lang siya keep no talagang i i ano natin <laughs> Ano ba sabihin? In, hindi na inculcate. Inculcate parang masyado naman akong demanding. But I think, yeah, we have to really value and understand artistically. Kasi po, uh, ito na yung magiging way ng life nating lahat. And then it is through the true parents that we have this kind of truth na kailangan nating i-practice. So, that is how, yun, <laughs> ang, ano, ang point ko talaga doon is, that is how important true parents in our life of faith in connection to the Trinity na sila yung unang nakagawa substantially ng Trinity with God. Okay, brothers and sisters? So, yun siguro yung gusto ko lang po idagdag doon. Thank you! Thank you very much, Sylvia. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Okay, so we are pasas tayo sa oras, so let's I hope na, no? 
uh, let's always you know analyze everything and kamo lang talaga mawala ka na dito sayang lang yung sayang lang yung effort ko dito pag learn from it and let's develop our life of great course close this and we are back to welcome Katerina Good evening, brothers and uh, sisters. Again, please join me in prayer. Good evening, our most loving heavenly parents and true parents of heaven, earth, and human kind. Father, we have just concluded our day's program, which is learning the Christology. And then uh, we, also, we also learn how many father the heart of Jesus Christ, the heart of Jesus Christ of uh, being a filial son to heavenly parent. And uh, uh, especially of following God's will, and that is. Uh, to see or to fulfill his mission, no matter how what, even though it means uh, laying his life for his enemies. Father, may we be able to inherit and make it that uh, model, Heavenly Father the model of the first Messiah, wherein uh, he has said how to truly uh, follow God's will and that he has also set the example, taught and set the example and live according to his teaching on how to love your enemy, Heavenly Father. He, he have taught that and he have died do, uh, practicing what he have uh, taught by living for, uh, by he have, by dying and loving his enemies. Father, even uh, though we uh, we are not as religious as the Messiah, as the true parents, even now, even even how many years that I have already, or we have already known of, about the divine principle, we always fall short, Heavenly Father of your expectation. We have always fall short of uh, our respective responsibilities and that and we always justify Heavenly Father our shortcomings by not being uh, perfect. And that we are still uh, in the process of perfection, but Father, truly, if we examine it, these are all justifications. As we justify, Heavenly Father, as we do uh, not uh, are doing our responsibility, we knew, Heavenly Father, deep in our hearts that we are uh, um, derailing ourselves from the truth path that we need to do but we wanted but, but we but because we are uh, but because uh, we are hard headed and then we are too abusive of your understanding and loving heart we uh, we are always uh fall short of the expectation and 
not doing our responsibilities. Uh, Heavenly Father, uh, may we be able, Heavenly Father, to truly learn from the example of Jesus Christ and that we may be able to uh, restore his sorrowful heart, Heavenly Father, uh, by not being able to receive a spouse, Heavenly Father, and died before he was ab be able to to uh, receive or to fulfill the second blessing, Heavenly Father, by, um, by fulfilling and receiving our spouses and be able to uh, receive the blessing through our true parents, the, second, the lords of the second heaven. Uh, we hope, Heavenly Father, that we can restore that sorrowful heart of uh, Jesus Christ. And that is one of the essence of this uh, lecture heavenly father that we have today and we father we always i would like to pray this and report this in the name so pray and relina the land of central adios family adios adios very much brothers and sisters good night announcement po pala uh, i think we already finished the part one of the Bible principle. Then by next week, po, we're going to the part two. But before that, we're having the midterm examination. Po. So, yeah, please prepare for, for that. Then, yes, thank you, brothers and sisters, for tonight. And have a good day. Good night, everyone. Yes, my midterm good next night, week. Bago mag start yung part. Thank you, Aterilina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Faith. So, not clear, sorry, hindi ko makalimutan. Thank you, Michael, for being always present. Good night. Good night, everyone. Saan ba? Bagay siya na ba ba nandito? Marami. May mga hindi tayo ng ano. May tanong si Miss, ano, Faith. May tanong din. May tatlong tanong dyan. Thank you, Miss Nelgene. Ay, mga question. Sagutin mo na sa ano, Teh. Kisi. <laughs> ah, okay. Sige. Hindi uh, ko alam yung ano eh. Hindi ko alam yung tungkol sa zodiac sign. Hindi ko alam sagutin yan. Ay, ito pala tayo. Ano yan sila? Reflection pala ito. Reflection question. Gusto Hindi natin ko, sagutin ito. Gusto ko sagutin yung ano yung zodiac sign. Joke! <laughs> Astrology. Sila yung magsagot niyan sa reflection nila. Meron nila. Ah. Huwag natin sagutin pa. Ah, Okay. Hey, okay. Ano to? Saan nila oh. sasagutin? Saan? Sa, sa link. Actually. Ah, okay, sila na sasagutin. Um, <laughs> Hindi na kayo mag-live. Good evening po sa lahat. Wait lang po. Saglit na po. Reminders lang po ulit sa blessing, ano po. Blessing festival. Sa hindi pa po nakapag-register. So please, ano po, make time to register po. Yung deadline po actually natin is March 25. So, yun po, brothers and sisters, please. Yun. Make time po to ano, register. Kasi yung goal po natin is 2,000. So, we have already 800. So, malaki-laki pa yung ano natin. <laughs> so, yun. Let's help together po one another. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ate Bonens. Maraming salamat. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, Paul. Good night. Good night, Miss Jen. I love your answer. I love your reflection. Uh, thank you so much for so truly an old Paul and Jonathan. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye, Nicholas. <laughs>